Good morning. My name's Roger Waters. I'm in Europe. Uh, today is a day of action. It's the 23rd of February 2019. There is a story here. Uh, it's about Venezuela. Uh, in 1998, after um, the Venezuelan people uh, democratically elected a socialist government, um, the government nationalized the oil industry. That is maybe where this story starts. This did not go down well uh, in the corridors of power. Um, so four years later, aided and abetted by the US government, there was an attempted coup um, to remove Hugo Chavez, who was the president of the country then. The coup failed. It lasted bare uh, two days. Uh, there was an enormous uprising uh, of protest from the people of Venezuela in the streets who demanded the return of their president. So he was reinstated after um, two days. All right. That was in uh, uh, 2002. Um, so what to do next? Well, what the United States did was they first declared, Obama declared that uh, Venezuela was um, a strategic threat to the United States and they imposed economic sanctions and uh, a blockade through banking systems of the country. 16 years later, those illegal and draconian sanctions have borne the fruit that the US required them to bear. They wanted to foment dissent in the country by destroying um, the economy and by encouraging inflation. And they have achieved that end. There is dissent without question in Venezuela. People are leaving Venezuela. Life is hard in Venezuela, particularly for poor people. It's mainly because of the inflation. It's a lie that there's no food. That's just wrong there is there's tons of food but it's too expensive for people to buy so um they're having another go at a coup right now uh, they groomed a puppet his name's guaido something like that and they've been grooming him for 10 years this is very well documented um so now he is meeting with his puppet masters who are on the other end of a bridge in the, the neighboring country of Colombia with a big line of C-130 American military transport planes uh, pretending that they are coming as saviors to save Venezuela from a crisis created by the current um, government. This is absolute nonsense, of course. It is an absolute charade in order for them to achieve what they tried to achieve in 2002 and failed regime change because that government back in 1998 did something unthinkable to an American administration. It took the revenue from the oil industry and distributed it to all the Venezuelan people in social programs, even the poor people. <sighs> horror, horror, horror. Giving money to poor people? Why? Anyway, um, I'm not digressing because this is the main thrust of why I'm speaking to you today. But I have, I'm running out of time. I'm told I have to get on with it. So I will get on with it. I have a message for the puppet and for his masters from Washington, D.C. Hands off Venezuela. What you are doing is immoral and illegal. We support you, people of Venezuela, millions of us all over the world, millions, despite what you might read in the newspapers. We love you. We wish you well. History will probably show that socialism in Venezuela was a light shining for the way we should possibly organize politics in the rest of the world. All right, so we're with you.